The best thing I've done in retirement thus far is absolutely nothing. I'm not surprised at all that Larry's still playing. Uh, he, he still has a, like he said, a passion and a fire to, to compete and, and to play and to win. And um, he, he just continues with every catch, he continues to, to move up uh, and, and actually now creates a separation between himself and, and uh, I believe T.O.'s right behind him and, and Randy Moss and, and a handful of other NFL legends uh, that, that he's leaving behind with every catch and every yard and, and every touchdown. Larry's the best football player and, and one of the best teammates I've ever been around or, or been on a team with. Um, not, not just from his on-field capabilities and, and um, God-given ability, uh, but from the way he leads, from the way he teaches the young guys, uh, the way he uh, kind of leaves a blueprint for the younger guys that are high draft picks, the, uh, the guys like Patrick Peterson who have really followed in his footsteps in a number of different ways off the field. Uh, so uh, to me, Larry's the best. Um, not because of, of just the, uh, the numbers on the field and the statistics, but from the entire player that he is and the entire leader that he is. The Cardinals are a ways away. Um, they, they have a lot of stuff they need to clean up on the offensive line. Um, you know, anytime you, you hire a coach and then fire him one season later, um, it's a pretty good sign that, that you're a ways away. So, um, you know, I, I believe in, in, you know, since I was there with, with the owner, uh, Michael Bidwell and, and Steve Kine, the general manager, uh, I saw firsthand how good they are at their jobs, and it's it's a ways away, but I believe in those two guys and, and riding the ship and, and getting them back into contention. One of my uh, fondest memories of, of the quarterback room that uh, it was myself, it was Matt Leinert, it was Billy Hart and Matt Castle, and I came into a meeting one morning and everybody was really quiet and kind of pissed off. and. You know, I, I was kind of egging everybody on, what's going on, what's the matter? And there was a little bit of a disturbance on Fraternity Row at USC because there was, there was a little bit of an argument. I'm not sure if it was over a girl or what, but uh, supposedly uh, Matt Castle picked up an empty 40, uh, empty 40 bottle and chucked it at Matt Leiner and it hit Matt in his elbow. And Matt started crying and was really out of sorts about it and it almost erupted in our meeting room into another fight um, but the coach or I think Pete Carroll had walked in or maybe Norm Chow had walked in right when um, things got really heated and Matt was tearing up and really frustrated and his face got really red uh, and, and that fight ended there but that was one of my better memories of, of that quarterback room. I think the final, the final score of this game will be New England 28 and the LA Rams, 25. It's a random number to throw out, 25, but um, I just think New England's um, got a little bit more, uh, you know, coming into this game. They, they know exactly who they are. There's been kind of some ups and downs in LA. They won in, you know, in New Orleans on a, on a freakish play, and um, I, I just think New England's been here enough to, to get it done again. I think Tom Brady probably wins his fifth MVP or fourth MVP, whatever it is. Yeah, I'm here representing FedEx uh, for the FedEx Air and Ground Player of the Year Award. Voting started about a month ago and it actually closes the 31st. So fans can log on to uh, onto Twitter, onto NFL.com backslash FedEx. They can vote there for the FedEx Air and Ground Player of the Year Award. I personally voted for Patrick Mahomes for the Air, Air Player of the Year Award and Ezekiel Elliott for the Ground Player of the, the Year Award. It's coming down the wire. I mean, six great candidates. The quarterbacks are Drew Brees, Phillip Rivers, and Patrick. Uh, and the ground candidates are Saquon Barkley, the amazing rookie year he had in New York, and then uh, Todd Gurley and Ezekiel Elliott.